Hi, in this course, I will talk about Cyprus and this is the first part of this video series. So, what is Cyprus? Cyprus is a testing tool which enables you to write all type of tests like e tween tests, integration tests, unit tests, visual regression tests, etc. If you don't know what actually they are, you may click on the link given in the description of this video. It will redirect you to my website where I have written too much about them. So let's start. I test Laravel application and this in this course you may test everything which runs and which runs in a browser. Cypress does not depend on language or a framework. You can test the application of every language or a frame or a framework. So first thing is first let's install the Cypress. Cypress can be installed by two ways. It can be installed by using npm or it can be also installed by using yarn. I install it through npm. If you don't know what is npm and no, ask me in the commenting comment section. I will try to answer as soon as possible in a better way. So the, the command for Cypress installation is npm install Cypress minus minus seo minus del. This means that the, the Cypress will be installed as a dev dependency. Let's jump to the piece code where I have opened the brush Laravel setup. In the root of your project, there should be package.json file. If it's not already there, then you then run npm init minus y to create this file. So as you can see, the package.json file is here. If, if it's not with if, if it is not there in your project, you can run this command npm and it minus y but it's here in my case so i will not run this command so i have the prerequisite file the package.json file and now i can install the cypress the command is npm install cypress minus minus save minus dev to install the Cypress as a, as a dev dependency through npm. It will take a while to install so I pause this video and when the installation is finished I will resume the video. As you can see it's downloading then it will be then it will be unzipping and then finishing installation so it may take some time that's why i resume i pause the video again as you can see as you can see the cypress is down the cypress installation is finished and uh, i can run i can run the cypress through this command node underscore module dot bin slash cypress open here is underscore but my terminal is not showing underscore so this 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 folder is not underscore modules not underscore space modules let's jump to the next step A 
if you are the fan of yawn you can run the command yawn add add cypress dash dash do dash dash do to install the cypress as a due dependency through yarn now you can run this command to scaffold cypress folder structure and open test runner so i will write this command node underscore modules slash dot bin slash cypress the binary of cypress is stored in node underscore modules slash dot bin slash cypress so uh, as i told you that uh, this is not space this is underscore not underscore modules but my terminal is not showing uh, uh, underscore and it show, shows underscore as a space This is the Cypress test runner and Cypress also provides you some example test case test test cases and you will also see a new folder Cypress here this when you run when you run this command after the, then you will see this folder in the root of your project and we actually place all our test our test here in the integration folder and this is some example test test i will delete them so now there is no test in the integration folder and i will create we will create our own test tests and will place here I need one another library which is packer to generate some pack data. So how I will install that? I will install that through npm and the command the command is npm install packer minus minus save minus dev. As you can see the packer library is installed which is used to generate some pack data and I have also created uh, one test case inside the integration folder we place the test cases the test file inside the integration folder which is inside the cypress folder so what actually this test case does first I want to tell you that my Laravel project is running on port 8000 so uh, let's the packer first generate an email and i store that in the email variable then i generate a password through packer and uh, then i visit to this url which is the registration page of laravel uh, i enter the first name in the wait let, let me show you In the input field where name is equal to name, I entered the first name through a generate through packer and where name is equal to email, I entered this email. Where name where name is equal to password, I type the this password and then I also in confirmation text box I'll, I also pass the same type the same password, then the Cypress press the register button and uh, it it looks that the uh, that the next URL is home or not? If it is, then it it press on click it click on this new bar and log out. So let's see this in action. <laughs> 